What's going on guys, this is William Idell back again with another daily inspiration video. Today I'll be talking about engaging more and being more proactive, uh, networking with your surroundings. So uh, I dug into my archives and pulled out this uh, video, uh, this behind the scenes video from a photo shoot I've done with a local hairstylist uh, by the name of Timothy Cabell. He does a lot of avant-garde uh, hairstyles, really huge hairstyles. He's uh, competed in uh, hair shows uh, internationally um, and placed really high uh, amongst hundreds of people which is a uh, um, very inspiring um, he hasn't won any yet but uh the fact that he's placed like within like top 20 top 30 amongst hundreds of people is like you know something uh big that's him right there uh working on that uh, young lady's hair um i arrived to the photo shoot early um to check out the wardrobe uh, he had a wardrobe stylist that uh, moved in from Hawaii she's really good she knows her stuff uh, this is something you want on your team is a, a wardrobe stylist who can bring multiple accessories uh, different styles and as you can see some of hair uh, some of the hairstyles Tim created you know big huge pieces that uh, he's told me he's worked on for months I mean I'm, this is uh, amazing work uh, creativity um, I always tell people to spend time at the house working on your mannequins if you're if, they, if you're a hairstylist if i'm working with the hairstylist um the place we shot at was in timothy's shopping center where his salon was located which is why i wanted to create this video because it was amazing to see how this photo shoot came together uh tim presented me with the idea i was like awesome let's do it uh, we actually was able to knock out two shoots at once. One was uh, fashion and hair, which we sent off to a magazine, which got published. And then we sent uh, the images that we didn't uh, send off to that magazine to another hair magazine. I think it was Hot for Hair. And it got featured in it also. So we got published, I think, in two magazines off this one shoot. And um, the, the, the location we're shooting at was moving to a new location and they basically moved out all the furniture and uh it was just vacant you know and because you know they talk outside you know you know people outside the shopping center you know they step outside and have smoke smoke breaks you know stand outside drink coffee talk about life how's the kids how's the wife and um you know why, why i want to make this video is because you know we live in a day and age now where people even your neighbors i mean you think about when's the last time you stepped outside of your house and, and, and had interaction with your neighbors everyone just comes home and goes straight in the house no one speaks to anybody on the street i remember when i was growing up everyone in the neighborhood knew everybody you know uh you got in trouble you know your neighbors are gonna tell your parents you know there was no way of hiding it but you know in this situation he knew everyone in his shopping center you know, even the backdrops you see that we used, the the fabrics we pulled out of a fabric store, which was in his shopping center. So not only was we uh, able to secure a location uh, to shoot, you know, which is cool. They came in early in the morning, opened up. There was no issues. Um, they said, okay, we'll be, we'll be back later on, like around nine or 10 o'clock at night to lock up. Um, the backdrops and some of the fabrics that was used in this uh, shoot was in uh, a store which was two doors down from this door. There was flowers and uh, foliage and uh, plants that was used in uh, this shoot for the, the big hair pieces, which was next door to the fabric store. So it was like three stores involved in this shoot, plus his salon, which is four, four people involved, four businesses involved all in the same shopping center. I mean, if you think about it, think about the people in your shopping center who can contribute to your photo shoot or who can contribute to uh, your business if you just, you know, step out the door and interact with people on a daily. And uh, it's something you wanna get into, you know, because if you have something to offer, if you could offer someone uh, a, a decent trade for something and they're willing to do it, I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll listen to your, uh, your your, your, your deal um, that, that you're presenting them with, you know, your, your, your bargain, you know, so um, your barter, uh, however you want to call it. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, we're sitting here, you know, talking over the shoe, going over different looks. 
know, this is like the first looks we shot for like the fashion magazine. I can't remember what magazine we shot for first. Um, I think I had my 24 to 70, that's why I'm shooting so close. Just get some close, you know, detailed shots. You know, I'm showing Tim the shots. But uh, yeah, networking with people in, in your neighborhood and uh, with people online. But it, it, it works really good when you just step outside your surroundings and just go walk walk in people's stores and talk to them. I, I, I remember I worked at Radio Shack for years. And um, no matter what Radio Shack that I worked at, whatever location, you know, I always, you know, uh, got along with the people in my shopping center. You know, I, I used to smoke cigarettes back then. It was a bad habit. Uh, customers used to piss me off a lot, so I always had to step out. I don't say I didn't have, have to step out, but I wanted to step outside just to take a smoke, you know, relieve the stress. Uh, thank God I don't smoke anymore. But it was amazing, like how many people you were running to when you're just standing outside and like, hey, Will, how's you doing? How sales? You know, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know, what you got in new? Oh, we got the new 64 gig iPod, or we got this new iPhone, or, you know, this new 74 inch TV, or whatever like that. But, you know, they come over and talk to me. I go over to their shop and talk to them. And anytime you need a favor, if I need a favor, if they need a favor, we always scratch each other back. And this is how this shoot worked out. So everything played well, you know, um, we got extra backdrops, you know, different, you know, uh, fabrics to use. We had this huge chair, which um, we used in this photo shoot, which uh, created some beautiful shots. And um, we had a great wardrobe stylist. We had, uh, it, was a, uh, it was also a young lady who had, uh, who sold uh, accessories, I think on a boutique on her website online. She bought a, a lot of different accessories by, so, um, I had a young guy by the name of, um, I think Keith, I think, I think his name is Keith. I haven't seen this guy in a while. Uh, he was helping me with the behind the scenes um, footage so I can shoot and, uh, you know, make adjustments on the lights. Um, as, you, as you see, I'm using my Photo Deox. Uh, I've been using that brand for a while. They're, they're very affordable and it's very good equipment. I like it. And I have my Westcott uh, above the models. Uh, so I can get it a nice even light but back to the um, the title uh, make a habit of that you know try to make a practice of you know um, getting to know your neighbors in your area and the people that that work in your your same shopping center you know because if, if you're shooting if you're like me and you're trying to build a team you know it's easier to just um, go knock on the door next door and like hey can I ask you a question? We're, we're going to be doing X, Y, Z next week. We're just wondering if we could, you know, use this chair that I always see in your, your lobby or if you want, if you can donate this or this or that, whatever. You know, I mean, we didn't have to go on Instagram or Facebook to post. We're looking for this. We're looking for this. We're looking for this because the people we speak to on a daily are who Tim spoke to on a daily. I'm speaking for myself, but you should be speaking for yourself as well. But the people Tim spoke to on a daily was there to assist him because he created a friendship with them just by speaking every day. Same thing with the models. You know, he didn't have to go search for the models because he used the same models all the time. I also encourage that also, I mean, if you have models that know how to pose and know how to know how to work the, the lens, work with them all the time. You know, you don't have to, that way you don't have to go look for models. You don't have to pose looking for new models, looking for new models. The only time you should have to do that is if your your primary model is out of town or if she's pregnant or, um, you know, she's working. You know, nine times out of ten, if you work with her all the time, she'll find time to come work with you. I, I've had models like that. They'll, they'll, they'll take that time off, you know, or they'll, they'll, they'll work to your schedule. So use the same models. It makes, it makes life much easier. All right, so uh, that's my daily inspiration for the day. I hope, I hope it uh, encourage you guys um, to go out and be more friendly, uh, not per se, but you know, get to know the people in your area. Yeah, you'd be surprised, you know, how they'll come for you in the clutch when you really need them. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, please go subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, come back and visit again. Appreciate it.